One could be one of those super spreaders who's just going around going, I'm invincible. <laughs> what would you say to people who are worried about vaccines? The most important thing to say up front is that vaccines are one of the best things we have to improve global health. Prevention is better than cure every time over. But yeah. you can actually eradicate a really horrible disease yeah. from a little injection. So what they do is they expose you to just a little bit of the virus. And when your immune system cells see that, they recognise it, they create a little army of themselves. If you do breathe in the coronavirus, they're already offering you some protection. If you can take something that will avoid you getting ill, why not do it? Why should we trust a COVID-19 vaccine? A vaccine, first of all, will be checked to see if there's safety in humans before it's even checked to see if it's clinically effective or if it works. And vaccines go through rigorous trials before they're allowed yes. to be used on humans. A lot of people are worried about how quickly uh, this vaccine for COVID is being kind of shot through. The safety steps are still going through as they would for any other vaccine trial. That large quantity of people will give us the answers that we need, but the science was done quickly because of the enormous effort that was made by just about everyone throughout the world. While we're waiting for a coronavirus vaccine, and while we don't really have coronavirus treatments as such, what we can control is getting the flu. So it's really important to get the flu vaccine this winter if you're eligible. Jenna, what is herd immunity? So herd immunity is, is this kind of concept that's uh, derived from, from vaccines. It means that a certain proportion of the population need to be immune to a certain disease, virus, bug of some sort to stop it from spreading between people. There are going to be people out there that can't get the vaccine, who definitely want yeah. to have the vaccine, but actually can't because of medical conditions, allergies, things like that. We might just be rocking around, you know, and maybe being slack with our, um, you know, preventative measures. But if the majority of the community are protected, it means those vulnerable people are protected too. And so herd immunity is there to protect those people as well as yourself. And that's why it's a community immunity. If you've had coronavirus, uh, can you get it again? The big problem with COVID-19 is that we still don't know whether having an antibody to the virus is actually going to protect us. We've only had this around since December, so how are we supposed to know? Other types of coronaviruses we've seen, such as SARS and MERS, mm -hmm. the immunity is limited, it only lasts a few months. Yeah. You might get it again but not have any symptoms yeah so you could be uh, potentially or one could be one of those super spreaders who's just going around going i'm invincible <laughs> it's really important to check the sources of where you're getting your info remember we're fighting two pandemics coronavirus and fake news so true